No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And uh, I figured it was only right that since we have done our first ever on camera boy boy girl threesome with my wife, Lena the Plug, and my homeboy and my Crip Mag voice. Yeah. <laughs> Lil D. And here we are. We're back on Melrose having yeah. a, a, a little conversation. Feels weird to be back here. Why does it feel weird? I don't know, new podcast space. I'm just like, I'm not used to this. It, it does. It feels like a throwback. It feels like 2018 right now. Cozy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except we used to be in the back of this building doing and hooking up with random fans. What? Not true. And now we've upgraded a little bit and we're having sex with adult male professionals. Y'all was doing blow together? Oh, yeah. What? I retired from, from uh, recreational drugs in 2018. But you don't but smoke. I hate weed. But you like blow? I used to. I mean, I haven't done anything in five years, but if I'm going to do something, it's not going to put me to sleep. It's going to keep me awake. She won't smoke weed with me. It's been a, a seven-year argument. I don't what? even want anyone to smoke it around me at this point because I'm so paranoid about being contact high. Yeah, you totally put I'm it like, out. I'm like, do not. <laughs> do not smoke around me. We could be at a party in a backyard, hell of ventilation, and I'll be hitting the spliff, blowing it away from her. Still, she's just acting like she's being hot box. Like she, her, her tolerance is at... Zero. I get too paranoid, and no one wants to see me be too paranoid. I'll be, I'll like have to leave. All right. So here's the most important question, Lil D. How was your experience? My wife with me. She was nice, man. I ain't gonna lie. I busted a fat one. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about it though. What, how did you feel beforehand? It, was, <gasps> it. A lot of people when they see the scene are now gonna realize that we were on set for like nine hours. Before we actually got down to the, we was there for a little second. It felt like twelve hours. I ain't gonna lie. It yeah, might have been. We started like, filming the scene at like ten p.m. What? And it, and we've been there since what? Like eleven a.m. That shit was pretty. Yeah, it was a long, 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 long day. That's a long day at work to end in a threesome. Yeah. And I cut all the photo shoot stuff short because I was like, you guys, if you keep asking me to take more shots, I am not gonna have energy for this sex scene, and I need energy for this scene. <laughs> Dude, that shit was fire though. I ain't the the photos lie. came out really good. The photos came out good, but I was just doing whatever by the end of it, and so a, a lot of people were pointing out that my my cankles slash <laughs> loafer combo, yo, I saw the that, position bro. of my legs and I stuff, was like, yo. a little zesty. <laughs> you a little great. zesty. You were giving. It, it was giving yeah. something. It was giving gay as. F but yeah, okay. I was just rocking with it because I'm not trying to make this scene take any longer. So I'm just doing whatever. And then when I was looking at it afterwards, you look kind of normal. You got like black Air Forces on and stuff. Yeah, okay. I got no shirt on and my, <laughs> my, my, my slacks are riding up mad high. Insert this into the video and... I got Boy, the loafers on. I don't got know. the Gucci loafers on. But I'm looking down at the, the loafers thinking out. they look good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then I'm seeing the photo and I'm like, bro, what are they? They let you do that? Like, what's, what's going on? Like, that's what? just not really my style to be on some some weird zesty fashion it's shit. It's just that oh, Adam always right. forgets, like, at least one part of the outfit and he forgot the socks. So that was on him. My son forgot the socks. He bugged out, yeah. But if you're wearing loafers. And you forgot the shoes. If you're wearing loafers yeah, like that, you don't want to wear socks. You don't? Nah, because uh -huh. the socks have to be so low that you might as well not wear socks. Oh, I thought they were allowed to show with the loafer. Maybe I don't know anything. Maybe I've like never had slides. a pair of loafers before. That was his wedding outfit. Yeah. That was his suit from his wedding, yeah. Mm, I we think shoes for the wedding. We right? f***ed in your marriage outfits? Well, my tux, but obviously I had taken the tux off by the time we went to Yeah. yeah. It's like a, what do you call that, like a honeymoon, a, a anniversary? <laughs> what you do? <laughs> You are renewing your vows. Yeah. I think oh. through you, we renewed our vows. Yeah. I think Hasn't so. Been a year yet I ain't going to lie. Y'all seemed like y'all was much closer after that. It was like a, a sacred bond was connected between y'all. Comment know. on that. Is that true? We f***ed a lot that week. Hmm. Yeah, y'all did. It always yeah. seems like it works out like that. You f*** another guy, and then we end up f***ing a bunch to make up for it. Make up for it. It's like rage. You like, yeah, you dirty bitch. Yeah, I'm I, yeah, you got me up. He did not do that to me. No, I would not have that. You like rough sex? No, nah. I don't want you to call me a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you've just spent the week doing some bucket activities? And I will say, I feel like this is a trend with the girls that I talk to. I feel like I liked rough sex more before than I do now. I still like it, but I don't like crave it as much as I used to. Why? Because you're in the porn world, or because you're a mom? 
I don't know. I feel like don't you just do something sexually and then you kind of get over it. You're like, so you get deeper into the porn world. You realize how rough it could get. And you're like, okay, I don't want all that. Maybe I'm going to gravitate a little bit more towards the soft, sensual side of things. I think it just became less new and, and, and exciting in a way because I just did it so much, you know? So who, who was donkey? the shit out of you so you. so aggressively oh me okay i thought you were just talking about like in life in general no i'm talking about you i'm talking about my past seven years with you so it was too rough with me not too rough it's just like okay i've, I've been choked for seven years maybe i'll try something different because sometimes she'll pop out with a different set of desires sometimes she'll want me to be dragging my sack all over her face and shit. i was about to ask her that have y'all completed all of y'all fantasies yet or y'all still got some more fantasies I don't even know what one, which ones you have left. For sure, she was like wanting to do two dudes, one woman for a while. So you know, even though we did do that technically, like right when we met, uh, well, like first month we met or some, shit, um, I definitely think that that was on your bucket list. Probably there's still part of you that's like, yeah, we we should do a little bit more of that. For me, for sure, I've done so many goddamn threesomes that it doesn't. It was this magical thing to me. All throughout my younger days, like anytime I got the two chicks at once, it was just like the craziest, greatest thing in the world. I got into the relationship with her right around the time that my clout level started to get to the point where I was having random girls show up in my DMs, just really wanting to just fuck me with their homegirl, you know, uh. which I never really had that as a civilian beforehand, you know. Mm. And then now we've done it so many times on camera that. I do think I could probably like hang up my threesome, uh, you know, desires and just be a normal What's old the, man. What's the new thing that you would want that would make you as excited as threesomes previously yeah, made you? Yeah, because you never satisfy. People never satisfy. They always just want something extra. Yeah, because if I didn't do any crazy f for like six months, who, who's to say that I wouldn't be all, I gotta get in there, you know? Or, um, I still crave the booty hole just because, you know, <laughs> I, I always want the, the, the unattainable shit. And her booty hole is. It's been in the shop for a few months. Y'all don't, y'all don't be we doing do it. We do it. We just don't do it as often as Adam would like. I don't really. Be Once. I don't like the booty hole too much. I only did it three times, and they was all scenes for Brazzers. You never did it off camera. No. You're not into it. A simple man. It's like. Are you scared of poop? Stop smoking around me. I will kill you. <laughs> all right, one hit and then I'll put it out. You addicts over if here. If you get a little high, it might be good for you. It might no, help, help I am open your to go booty hole up. Christmas lights after this. I do not want to be high. You oh, can be high and look at lights. Oh. Um, I don't know. The booty hole is never really my thing. I just always f the coochie. So it's like. Well, in the words of Crip Mac, you got f the coochie and. Yeah. I'm not grossed out because I did it before, and when I did it, it just felt like it felt like a black hole. Well, sometimes it is. <laughs> yeah, it didn't feel it's like not nothing. as moist and grippy as a vagina. It didn't feel like nothing. So, and then boom, they said after I f her for 20 minutes in her butt, I could go back to the coochie. So I said, I right, bet. So I knocked it out. And then I went right back to the coochie right after, and you feel the difference right after. Did you so give it a scrub in between? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Did you clean it? I, I, don't, I don't remember. It's nasty. Uh, Dangerous. Okay, oh, so Dangerous. then you, you go back to the coochie, then what? I went back to the coochie, and it just starts feeling all tingly, and it's mm. grabbing my d And I'm like... Put it out. Feels magical. <laughs> Anal is exciting, but there's definitely something magical about the vagina. Like, sorry, I know. I, hate, I know, I'm I hate sorry. To I hate to do this to you. But... drill sergeant rules on you. But He's just taking every last puff he can. <laughs> <laughs> he can't handle that I'm having him put it out. <laughs> this was what it was like being on the set of For the Love of Lena. Okay, oh, let's just put this out there. For the first day of For the Love of Lena, I was freaking out. We paid all this money for this production. We got the house. We could not get the permit in time. Before I could even be done with my hair and makeup, there's cops outside the fucking house. Oh, yeah. We got casts of 10 stoners, and they're all trying to go outside and smoke weed while we're trying but to hide from the neighbors. That's not why the cops showed up. No, the neighbors called the cops. And said that we had a production. Oh, but, but you think that the weed might have set them off? Well, the guys hanging out outside. But that's when I saw you too, because I went to the front to go and pick up some weed. Remember? Yes, I did. I see the front, <laughs> yeah. and we're like me and Monica and the other people who work who were working for us were like, okay, how do we get the guys to not go outside and smoke weed? And I was like giving everyone very strict terms, and you guys, none of them could, them could listen to it because they just wanted to smoke weed so bad the whole day. Like was, that. They Rad, was, Ralph was the worst though. Worse yeah, than he's, you. He's a drug addict. 
That nigga was a nut. Yeah, nah, he came with a whole pee. I was like, oh, shit. He was taking so many dabs. How did someone like him who's, like, borderline homeless end up with a pound of weed? He homeless? I mean, I seen a house check that Danny Mullen did where they went to his crib and filmed. None of us would be willing to live in this environment. It was disgusting. It was like I, when I used to help out at the, the battered women's shelter when I was a kid, and I would go into the fucking ladies' apartments, and there would be stinging like cheese and mold and shit. <laughs> That's the vibe I got from his spot. Would y'all have seen yourself actually doing a threesome with Red Dick Ralph? No. No. He was there for a comedic <laughs> effect. I think we all know. And also, do they know that you did not know who Red Dick Ralph was? I ain't know who he was. So there's this other guy named Mudflap who's, like, also part of Danny Mullen. Shout out my man Danny Mullen. He, he got, like, a comedy YouTube channel or yeah. whatever, and he basically just makes a funny-ass video every week. He got a whole different crew of, like, weird, goofy people that comes on little trips with him and shit and just makes videos. And there's this one super fat guy named Mudflap who I always thought was really funny, and I was like, oh, that guy would be a good, like, comedic personality to fill in some of the gaps between the male porn stars on For the Love of Lana. So I hit up Danny Mullen. I'm like, yo, what's going on? With, but but I forgot that there's like two different dudes. There's a guy named Rat Ralph and there's a guy named Mudflap. And I forgot which one was which. Oh. So I was like, yo, can you. He ordered me? the wrong guy. Yeah, I was like, hook me up with Rat Dick Ralph. And <laughs> nah, he did. did bad. But he did I, it bad. wasn't the guy that I thought it was going to be. And when he showed up on set, I was just like, whatever. Like, you know, yeah, all right, right. I guess we'll f with this guy too. So, but when we eliminated him, so many comments were saying how, like, you guys should not have done that. You should have kept him till the end because apparently people really think he's funny i know you were not really feeling him but that was just the white people that was like oh you eliminated him you really <laughs> kept all these black people no you know i think people mean? think he's funny i don't know i I'm not, I'm not really a fan of his humor but he bro he was getting naked in a room <laughs> full of like 10 niggas and then another 15 niggas was the camera crew. Like, what are you doing? Ain't no I, I know. shorties around. You're like an autistic white dude. And then you, got, <laughs> you ain't even, like, walking around in boxes. You walk around in He said string. he was hey, trying yo, to the fulfill fuck? the porn star stereotype or what he I'm, thought was the porn star stereotype. I'm a porn star. You ain't see me walking around doing all that crazy shit. And you're in a room with a couple of different gang members, drill rappers, uh, oh, yeah, porn stars, rapping. all that shit. Stuff. You got like the next K Flock sitting right here. You got Crip Mac. Yeah. I wish and you I could still see. nothing, they no alarm Lil bells D. go off in your head to be like, oh, I'm not gonna act gay. They hear Lil D music out. Go check that. You feel me? <laughs> it's all on there. I wish I could see Crip Mac's first reaction to Rat Dick Rob walking in because I know it must have been funny. He said, he a customer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my boy. I mean, Crip Mac hates gay shit, and Rad Big Rob, his, nigga Krimak, his whole yeah, thing is pretty much just yeah. acting as gay as possible, right? That nigga was blowing my nigga Rad Big Rob, yeah. 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 His nah. push ups? You like those push ups? Yeah, it looked like he's about to break <laughs> his back. Oh, like, what's wrong with this nigga, yeah? I'm uh, like, my son's acting up. I don't know about that nigga. Wait, but I wanted to know too, though. Who, 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 who else you would have picked if not me? Because it seemed like... I wasn't sure who I was going to pick until the very end. Yeah, so many people thought that we had premeditated the whole thing. And I it was, think And you know that's not true because I had never even really kicked it with you before. And she yeah, hadn't facts. really talked to you that much. Yeah, it's not facts. like we had planned it out. And it's so facts. funny because we were casting for it. And you haven't hit me up on Twitter like almost <sighs> ever. And right when we were casting for it, I was going to hit you up. But you had DM me like, hey, what's up? Was, and I was like, oh, this is like, it's like almost like he knows I was about to hit him up to be was, in this. It was random, yo. It was just... it, I, I'll be honest. There was guys that I really wanted to cast who were just not available because mm. the guys in the porn industry are super booked up if they're like good professionals, whatever, like the companies book them in advance. That's crazy. We have a whole planet full of horny dudes, but only like 10 of them are capable of actually doing it on camera. Well, you want someone who's going to have a, a decent personality. Yeah, perform well on camera, want to be part of the series. Don't but... stink. Yeah. <sighs> Did anybody really stink? No. Crip Mag. I feel like a guy who smells <laughs> bad won't really stink. make it in this industry because so many girls will go to the director and yeah. say, he fucking smells, I'm not fucking him. That's a problem. And that's it, they're out. But, I mean, how hard is it to just clean your fucking body? She in? don't want to suck musty d like, I've had some fuck? homies over the years who realistically, like, I know that they couldn't not stink. That they just were going to stink no matter really? what. Yes. I've seen... Dudes I knew who, like, had a whole new fresh set of clothes, took a shower, saw them, like, use soap, put deodorant on, et cetera. Then they put on these new fresh clothes, and within 20 minutes, they stink already. Sounds like they need to It's a, a very small percentage of men, but some, some dudes just have a permanent stink to them. I don't know. And I saw you sniffing dudes, man. Why are you sniffing dudes <laughs> on the show, sniff you? Man? 
No, nah, don't. He's a little jealous. Me. Look at him. Hell he no, don't sniff me, sniff me nigga. What? Don't sniff me, man. But I was like, what's wrong with this nigga, man? Why you do that? I yeah? sniffed uh, Gunner's ass. Hey, yo, Air, Air Thugger, sorry, why I call him Gunner? <laughs> thuggers, I sniffed Thugger's ass. I just wanted to make sure he was all right. He, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna give it to him. Thugger was the best actor of everybody. They was, I was reading the comments. They were saying he's sassy. He's cool. a, he is sassy. <laughs> yeah, but sassy has like a, a zesty connotation to oh, it. That's like, what they're trying to get at with that. I, no, but oh god, he's like, he's got the best potential future as a reality star i feel like i feel like he could be on all these like too hot to handles and all that kind of shit like he just fell in line with the the whole reality thing so good and was just hating on people and just, <laughs> he really he was, was he just was telling alex shit. jones yeah, he, like he, I'm, I'm, oh no you said i voted for you yeah, to him yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. Right. vote him out my life fuck you. my favorite part of the whole series is probably when crit mac votes out alex legend and just writes french mother <laughs> and, and they French can't even read it. I yeah. didn't even remember the nigga name. I was just calling him Frenchy the whole time. How could you not remember? They're I was literally calling him, all Alex. I was calling him Frenchy the whole time. Yeah, this song. is your brother in sword fighting. Hey, yo, I ain't no sword <laughs> fight. No, but I mean, you're still, you know, if, if you're fucking a girl with your homie, you're still kind of sword fighting, even if you never bang them together, right? Hell no. Yo, because. Spit rolls. Spit pause. rolls only. Pause on what I'm about to say. But when they gave us a list, like her her OnlyFans team or whatever, gave us a list of things that they wanted us to do oh, yeah. on camera. <laughs> and most of them were things that we actually would do that were like whatever. But then it said, yeah, some crazy shit, two dude. dicks in the mouth at the same time. <laughs> I told them. But it said quiet. like dicks touching. Told them it's quiet. We I was like, what, what's going on? That's not Even something Even if you guys we were down, for. I don't think that my mouth would comply. I don't think I could actually physically open my mouth wide enough to fit two dicks that are uh, big in it. Would you, if, yeah. let's go hypothetical world, because I would never want to do something like that. But if, if we were both down, would you be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to try, yeah. Dear God. Can you just put your fist in your mouth or something? I feel like you still got some fantasies you haven't had. What do you want to do What's that some you of your done fantasies yet? Were? Um, I just want to be with my ho ho oh, hot, sexy like that. man. That's so good. You're so he, nice. He, he helped you while he did. You know what I mean? He doesn't tell me what he wants either. I don't know why. Y'all both got to keep it real right now. What are you talking about? I, you know what I want to do? I like uh, random chicks that we meet. That's that's. Well, that's we can't it. random chicks we meet. No, we can. They just got to get tested. See, okay. Her yeah. theory about me is that I'm turned on by being wanted. And so she, her theory is that I don't, like, I get into the porn stuff. I'm into doing stuff with her and other girls. But I'm not as into it as when we were at the party. There were some girls who were, like, not porn stars. They just want to fuck me the and her. Random shorties. And they he likes the, the girls who laugh at his jokes a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> and they like following me around they and it's like it's, 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 it's pretty obvious your jokes a little too loud. They're, they're trying to yeah. Yeah. go yeah. home with us and shit like that and i'm kind of like feeling it because the i know that joys be hitting these are random off. girls with twenty thousand followers and they want to go home fired. with the 22 sir and ltp and they want to get piped yep. at the crib there's something about that that's really hot y'all could have had a whole orgy bro even though even though violet <laughs> myers is way hotter than these girls I know that when I'm Violet Myers that she's doing it partially because she's making content to make money on her OnlyFans. Now I'm not it's not like it's not hot, but there's something hot about a girl who's just doing it because she just wants to make her feel good at the end of the night. All right, I guess I know what to find you. <laughs> a random single a lot that every now and then, you know what I mean, dibble and dab, but those you gotta wear condom. Exactly. Or for me, I'll, I'll, I'll wait it out. Those. I'll send the bitch to CTE and I'll wait it out. CTE. Perfect. CTE. -E. Yeah, because you got a couple chips, so you could send her right over there. $200 test. <laughs> I'm not get paying. That test. She got to pay. You she got to get her old test. It. The one you I'm thinking go? of is a stripper. She got plenty of money. She can oh. pay for that shit, right? So you're thinking of a specific girl. I mean, when I say that there was one following me around like a lost puppy, you know who I, I'm yeah. referring to. I also had the feeling at Adam's party, like, how is this just not an orgy? Because there's so many porn people at the party. Bro, I was going to say that. After that, y'all should have just situated a little OG situation. Like, See, that's not a bad idea. That that make all of our money back for the party. That would have been tough. We Charge all the dudes? We yeah, been everybody there. could start. We probably would have got reported by the fried chicken truck and shit. We would have been in there. 
It was mad bitches up in your party. It almost turned into an origin when Gia Derza showed me her butt plug. I had to go report back to Lena, like, guess what I just saw? You know Gia Derza? I wanted to poke it in. She was wearing a butt plug, yeah? She showed me. She had to plug it up because she be... What? what? <laughs> Should he leak it? <laughs> what are you saying? What? Leave my girl nah, alone. You, I ain't say that. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I used to, uh, nah, shout out to Gia. I'm sure her butthole is totally fine. Um, we eating poop. Wait, what? <laughs> he just said poop out of nowhere <laughs> with a poop. big smile on his face. <laughs> this is why I can't let you smoke. <laughs> There's a lot of loose buttholes out there, man. Nah, Not yeah. mine. No, nah. yeah, yeah. if you had a butthole like her, we you, we'd have we would a whole, never have vagina sex. No, you just have you a whole a nice separate butthole. side business. I like yeah. your butthole. You'd have to have I'm a different LLC it. for like Lena's butthole, because like G- Gia's out here abusing her shit, but it apparently it just works that good. Like, listen, yeah, she be doing a lot of anal. She don't give a f- every. She yeah. be Go search hole. her name she on put, Pornhub. You're gonna have a hard time hole. finding some vaginal she shit. She be putting a whole fist up in there, like I'm like, God, damn, gangster. Answer. I know I'm like, not as hardcore as the other bitches. Love Gia. I'm glad there's Gia's out there. I just that's not gonna be me. No, there's part I can't of me. Do it. There's part oh, of me that's thankful. That he he liked that. I oh, forgot. he loved yeah. it. He literally I forgot after he liked the party, that he, almost, he basically got in trouble because he kept being like. <laughs> So anal. So Gia was wearing a butt plug at the party. So maybe that. we should do oh, we, maybe we should do anal like, on plug talk with Gia. He like she ready, yo. I'm like, hello. Can you be a little subtle? <laughs> this uh, nigga here. See, this is why I don't tell the shit I want to do because I'm gonna get called out for it because I don't know how to be tasteful about it. Because oh, you yeah. mentioned it like six times in one day. No, I mentioned it like three times in one day <laughs> and like one time the day before. But he that. didn't just mention it to me. He's like texting Monica and Shut Viv. Up, to oh, we. <laughs> you put it in the plug talk group <laughs> chat. That's what we do when we book girls to be on the show. Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't reply, so you text me on we the side. No, because <laughs> my idea, because I'm, I'm thinking We've like, her, by the way. I'm thinking like I didn't. I yeah, just got some ooh, some head from her. Uh, oh, he's, he's counting points. She you just about gave, yeah, yeah. She just gave me some top, but this was five years ago. Uh-huh. But yeah, she this, been, we've been around for a second. She started when I started. Really? Yeah. Yeah. The, this is what I was thinking though. Is like, Lena doesn't want to do anal on plug talk, so maybe we could do a double up. Like I, I always try to appeal to your financially minded side. I was like, we could. Shoot plug talk vaginal, and then give it an hour. Shoot some anal for your OnlyFans. Thought it was a good idea. You're, you're you did not, not suggest that. You suggested anal plug talk. I don't want to. No, no, no. That's not true. Okay. Well, maybe we can revisit this conversation. I then. could go find it for you right now. Okay. But that that's what I sent to the plug talk group chat because well, I y'all got to make a sense. bet on it. Y'all got to make a bet on it. I can no, find it right no, now. No betting. I just okay. I like anal. I just hate preparing to have it on camera because for the most part, I end up bleeding. Not bleeding. I end up bleeding. That's hot. Hell, hey, yeah. what, what happens? You like, want her to bleed? How does it bleed? It just Booty gets hole. cut. I don't know. What? I don't know what's going on there. It just gets cut. Yeah. <laughs> it feels bad for me now. <laughs> that shit, it sounds like it hurt. I ain't it, doesn't, blood. it doesn't actually hurt. It just makes filming really hard because you can't have blood on OnlyFans. But that was another thing, too, because I told you about the one scene I did where I felt it and it felt like nothing. And then I went to it felt good. The other scene I did, Shorty was like leaking out her butt a little bit. And With blood? Was, nah, it was brown. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo. That happens. It happens. Why you smiling, man? Just, uh, <laughs> because that, if you want to have that, anal, then you're going to have to deal with some colors. Me and her. Hole. I don't want to deal with it. But me and her you, shot, yeah. shot an anal threesome back in the day with one of the, the goats of the anal scene. And... At one point, they both were having two different kinds of shit falling out of their ass. What? Y'all had a shitty booty contest? Basically, yeah. (laughs) In the grass in our backyard. What? This is years ago, but it it was kind of like two very different types of shit that were coming out, and that definitely opened my eyes to what was possible. (laughs) Okay, let's move beyond this conversation. She she got mad at me for talking about it on camera, but I feel like I I still still have the right to talk about it because... How did that make you feel? When he talked about it on camera? No, when it when 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 the poop came. When your poop was on my knee. I felt bad because I was like, oh my god, my poop. But then the other girl started having poop problems. So I was like, yeah, it's not just me. <laughs> poop problems. <laughs> I mean. We should start a porn site called that. <laughs> no. Poop problems. You no? could put G on the list, number one. <laughs> well, you got a grudge against her or what? No, nah, we stop? cool. Me it's and her cool. Tight. Yeah, well, it's, but it's, she likes it's not going to get any longer it's, if you keep grabbing It's on the it. internet. It's up there. You can see it. Oh, you guys have content together? Oh, no. I'm talking about um, 
He's talking about the poop shit. He's y'all. saying oh, she, she shit on somebody. Okay, okay, okay. I but, mean, if it's online, I guess she's cool with it, right? So. But that was another question. How does it make you feel when he asks you or he brings it up on camera? <laughs> that face. Why is he just hitting that face for? <laughs> it's <laughs> very animated. <laughs> yeah. um, I guess I would prefer it be my idea, but he's asking because I haven't suggested it in a while, I guess. The way I preempted it I, that I mentioned it was I said, you know, I never really like suggest content ideas or whatever like sometimes i send girls or whatever but something happened at the party that really turned me on which is that you know this girl showed me her butt plug so i was just wondering if you wanted to shoot with her and i mean to me that was about as gentle as i could possibly be in terms of bringing it up but you know when you're dealing with your wife you got to be careful about how you bring these things up i I just i guess i just have to train my butt all i guess i have to walk around a butt plug i think we need to put it in the schedule but he that's that sounds like that's his fantasy, okay? Okay, boom. It's not like we haven't done anal, just so you know. My fantasy is just more anal. Okay, cool. <laughs> he admitted that. Now you gotta admit your fantasy. We already did it. Oh, that was She it. wanted to get piped by two dudes. It sounded like she had another fantasy. It looked no, like I, I I'm I'm into being shared by another man with another man, yes. Okay, so it's, it's How about thrilling to her. Y'all should make a deal more anal, more sharing. You're like a therapist right now. <laughs> well, that is a good idea. Maybe I could hold that over her head. Like, I'm never going to do a BBG again unless I get some booty sex. No, yeah. but I don't want to make it like a weird transaction. No, nah, like it's like a compromise. Because I understand. I want to be, as a husband, I want to be understanding, and I appreciate you being our therapist here. <laughs> I want to be understanding of the sensitivity of both her feelings and her asshole. Because, you know, if, if she is experiencing blood issues or whatnot you just gotta take it easy on her butt like don't be trying to go crazy but that's why i think we need to fuck around with it a little bit more like there was another era of our relationship where she used to i would go to her crib she would pop out with a butt plug she was fully like you know trying that's to stretch that thing she out she was on that i was camming a lot more so i was i oh, had yeah, a butt yeah, plug yeah. in often Oh, you like them days. He missed some days. This is how he missed some days. I mean, it was cool. I'd come home and she'd just have a butt plug in and I'd be like, but I feel like we need to put it in the calendar of like, all right, eight to nine, Wednesday night, we have an anal date. And we're going to just. Yeah, to, Okay, for every chill. date you take me on, I'll give you an anal date. Oh, but then we'll, <laughs> if we go eat some food right beforehand, that's exactly what you don't no, want to no, no. do. No, it doesn't have to be on the same it day. Sounds like that's what you want. I know, but it would do. be a lot simpler they don't if we have were to able be to do on it. The same day. If we were to get it knocked out on the yeah, same day, it would be it easier. One day and then the next day. Because, yeah, like, wait, I'm going to take you out to eat on a Friday. And, and then, like, when Wednesday comes around and you're like, oh, I don't feel like it. No, like, but I took you out to eat on Friday. just put it in the calendar. Yeah. You know? And then y'all put another day she gets to get shit. But I feel like that's mostly an on-camera thing, whereas the anal is... Well, we need to, like, build ourselves up off-camera to be able to be more in the anal zone. Type shit. You know? Hey. Do you feel like we are fake sex workers because we don't do hot, sexy stuff off-camera as much? Like, do you do crazy shit off-camera, or do you only do crazy shit on-camera? I don't be doing a lot of crazy shit, so it's like I be doing what I do on camera, off camera type shit. So, like, even let's put it this way. I like having memories, you feel me? So every time, even if we just sit in, I'll just snap a pic just to have it. Yeah, but you're so not, like, necessarily filming, like, a whole thing. You feel me? Even if I'm f***ing one of my regular shorties at the crib that don't do porno or nothing, I'm still going to, I just whip it out. I'm already f- and I'll whip it out, just get a, a minute just to have it. Like, damn, I remember that day. You feel I me? I miss like, doing more off camera sex yeah. stuff. Like, that, that, I mean, we're just you so busy that. now, you but need I miss that. it. I ain't going to lie. You need that. All right. This is the weird thing about us is that the part of our life where we were having sex with random girls that we met at the club and shit ended with us getting fucked up. So, like, as soon as now we stopped drinking and doing coke, we just, not, we just don't we go started out. fucking ran. We stopped girls as well and got more serious about doing shit on camera so we don't really know what it's like to like have those kind of experiences relatively sober because we just never really did it i ain't gonna lie me being in the industry like five six years i don't seen a lot of people make it and i've seen a lot of people crash and burn out you feel me it's all about how you handle everything like sometimes you gotta not everything gotta be about the porno shit work you feel me sometimes you need to just 
I mean, go missing for a week or something and just. It's a, it's just a time issue. Do for what us. y'all yeah. do. Our schedules make it very hard to go missing. We usually book ourselves up for weeks in we advance. We don't really take a lot of like time off for pleasure. Yeah. Like in general, Ever. you need to. You need to. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that. Cause like next it, next week, I know what I'm doing. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, and. I don't know what I'm doing Nothing tomorrow. Sp- spontaneous. I, I envy you. I envy you. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Ugh, I hate I, I having my calendar what? all packed out in advance. I, I went to Vegas for for four hours yesterday. I got, flew there and back. You got to ease your mind. My question. The fluffing. Oh, my this, God. This was well, something man. we didn't really anticipate. We didn't think about it in advance. But when, when she shot her scene with Jason Love, we didn't even, like, talk about it in advance or anything. But... She just like automatically knew that she Wait. wasn't going to be helping him get hard off camera. Like uh-huh. that was just something she didn't want to. Which feels cross so awkward as the girl because you're just sitting there and the guy's like beating his meat, <laughs> and you're like, okay, well, I'm not looking at him. So I was that- going to ask you about that scene. They kept saying you filmed it. You filmed that no. scene. No. Why did you say you? Bro, okay, just, that, that's me, the power me, of a good meme. No, but let they me tell you why they it. think he was there. Because Jason has a story time video on his TikTok where he's talking about this one time where a guy <laughs> flew him out to fuck his wife. And some people found that story time and they dubbed it so that it makes it sound like it was about Adam. I'm crying. And but it, it, he it, never denied it when they asked him about <laughs> it on the fan bus. Because I don't think he knew what they were talking he about. He didn't deny it on fan bus. No, but they asked him if he got paid, t- paid, paid 10K, and I'm pretty sure he didn't say anything. Yeah, so people think that they I paid he... him $10,000, and they think that I filmed it. Man, my <laughs> he was son. At home. My son is Chad, yeah. I'll cry. I think Jason. Knows. But, okay, so <laughs> yeah. that, that was one fluffing experience where she didn't help at all with the fluffing. So then we're in the room with you. Me and you are both, you know, make it wicked, 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 just trying to get our shits oh, yeah. working. And at first, she was not helping you out. But nah, then, because I wanted to make it more comfortable for y'all. So I'm like, y'all do what y'all do for But first. then I felt so bad ignoring you because nah. I'm like, you know. And as we start to like get more into the mentality of like, oh, remember, we, was we your, all remember, need to work together in order to make this happen. I remember. You, and so I was like, yeah, you know, go. Suck that thing. Well, because he was like, can you, can you ask me if I could hold your balls? And I asked you, yeah, and you were like, no. Like, That's all I and need. Then, and then but then you, like two minutes later, I was yeah, like, all right, Yeah, two minutes right, later, you were like, okay. And then all of a sudden, I'm sucking his dick off camera. And I was like, okay. Like, everything's changed. <laughs> like, the rules are just changing. Like, and fast forward really quick. I mean, know? I just didn't want to, like, give the, the go ahead when I didn't know how I was going to feel. You yeah. know? That's why. That's why. Because I know it was your first song. You feel me? I'm like. Let y'all get comfortable. Y'all do what y'all do, and then I'ma just hop in. You mm-hmm. feel me? Shit like that. I, I I was trying to make it like easier for y'all. But you a real weirdo though, because let me tell you why. <laughs> yeah. It's because number one, apparently you're real into like ball holding, and then also it's like, the wait, easiest the, for the me. The thing that he requested was that there there was a girl working in the office at the time, and he oh, asked yeah. us like. Oh yeah. Could she come chill in the room just so I could look at her? I just want her to watch. Cause she we was we, I'm like, no, she works in the office. You cannot ask her that. Cause we was chilling the whole we was there for like twelve hours. So I was over there talking to her. We over here, you know what I mean? I'm feeling something, you know what I mean? So I'm like, she could just watch. That'd well the funniest cool, thing is I think dude. that they, they weren't entirely against it, right? But That's then what, I was like, no. Yeah, Nobody like, is doing like, anything unless they have paperwork saying that they are meant to be here on set doing this. Like I, I was like, I, I, I. Yeah. But I still start what? Once I got behind that fat booty, I was like, man, I am okay. I started. It's nice, right? That shit is nice. It's nice and Fluffy. She got a nice BBL because she already had the thick ass thighs, so I think that they came together yeah, to form a, a thick ass. I had to take ass. the fat out of my legs. That's, That's one of the things. Some bigger. people, some people be, I don't know, they 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 try and cause okay, boom. I like old type of shows. You could have the fattest ass monster, the lump she was onion booty. I'ma kill it. You could have the flattest, be the flattest, skinniest prettiest beautiful girl in the world nigga i'm gonna kill you the same way i'll probably kill you even better i like skinny pretty girls you feel me that's my thing but well i like all type of shorties you feel me but some shorties be so insecure because they see all these shorties that look and they got the booty on instagram nowadays they like damn nah now i gotta get that because that's all they doing they on instagram all day because instagram a drug you feel me everybody on that shit just scrolling because they're getting the dopamine hit 
but looking at bullshit, looking at all these bitches that they want to look like. You feel me? Bitches who don't look anything like you in real like life them. what they look like on the gram. Yeah, and they want to look like something that they're not supposed to be looking like. You feel me? If you a skinny, pretty girl, God put you here to look like that, and I think you should, I mean, be what you want. But are. the realest shit about but porn? I'm saying that to say they be so insecure, they try and get the monster booty, but you a skinny girl, so the thighs is all, yeah. and you look like a chicken bone, you feel me? <laughs> I'm like... Just be happy. We were with the, a skinny chick the other day who was telling me she was thinking we're getting fake ass. I just was like, no, 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 I'm no, saying no. it wouldn't your, fit. Your it's legs not are too. It's not full. You, you, you got skinny me? legs. You look good right now. You have a small ass. I but love it, it skinny fits. pretty girls. If you get that thing amplified, it's not going to go good. A girl who's a little bit thicker can get the BBL and it can look good. But skinny BBL, very rarely does it work out the way that you think it's going to. Or I'm, you know what I mean? I ain't saying there's nothing wrong in a BBO and none of that. You no, I love, I love them. It's just good I'm ones a, and bad ones. Yeah, exactly. And it's all so about it's the body not, type. It's not you must see everyone. a lot of bad ones in Miami. I've seen it all. <laughs> I've seen it all. I've seen but the, the craziest ones. The later. crazy thing about I've the seen, BBLs in I've Miami. I've seen one that looked like her butt looked like a triangle. The crazy oh, shit no. is just that it was like a the, triangle. it'll look good in the dress, and then it'll look weak as f out of the dress. But it looks good in the dress, and all these bitches care about is going to the club. So to them, it's cool because they could get the guy to give them money and shit based on just how they look in the club, even if it looks kind of retarded at home when the guy's drunk. He's, he's not necessarily paying attention. I ain't going to lie. I love my BBL shorties, man. Them <laughs> shits be looking amazing. It, but you got to get the right one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Some shorty be so thirsty to look like something that they're not supposed to be looking. They'll go to fucking the nigga that do it for 3K. Like, bitch, you paid 3K for your BBL? How much should it cost? Three, you, could, you could get lip filler for like 3K, so... Getting I'm, a BBL, I mean, the well, really good, like... three K is a solid price. No, three K? Are you insane? How much you paid in Turkey or some shit? I paid sixty five hundred, but in twenty fifteen, before like the whole real That's craze, I think they like they can go up to twenty K. Damn, you got yeah. a budget ass, huh? I've I've, mm -hmm. see, I've heard Shodi say they paid from like four to twenty. Yeah. That's what I'll be Because it all depends. Because a lot of girls, a of like, how many places are you getting lipo from? Are you getting ab etching? Like, or, all of those things are factored but in. But I know some shorties that got a 5K one, and that shit look fire. She, they might have gone she's, to Mexico. Dice, but man. she's thick already, you feel me? So it's like, she just evening it out. Dan Dangler got hers done in fucking Michigan. There's a shorty named Dan Dangler. Yes. You don't know yeah, her? Yeah. No. Nah. Really? You, you, ever heard of, you, ever, you ever heard of Dirk Diggler? Dig Diggler. Nah, Dirk Diggler. Is Dirk Diggler? Isn't we that? had a guy, Dig. Oh, the real dude is Dig Diggler, but the movie, you ever saw Boogie oh. Nights? Yeah, yeah, no. that's what I was saying. Oh, okay, it's from okay, okay. Boogie Nights, Because yeah. like, we had a guy come on the orgy named Dig Diggler with his girl. No, what was his name? Dick something. No, no, not that guy. You're thinking, but this, this is like a light-skinned black guy. Oh. So there's Dick Diggler, Dirk Diggler, and... Dan Dangler. Dan the Dangler. Dan is Danielle. I think that's her real name. Um, But she's great. You, you gotta meet her. I was awesome. thinking of coming up with a porn name. What? Like Tom Tickler. Yeah, you need a porn name. Creepy. You can't be you Tickler. can't be Adam. You gotta what's your porn name? We're gonna find it. I was thinking about this. How okay, how about this? Bob Smooth Cock. Hey yo. <laughs> nah, don't do that one. <laughs> smooth just cock. On that in the or, or just, this morning? You know how there's small hands? Nah, fuck just that. Smooth cock. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I'm calling you? Dirty Dan. Ooh. Dirty Dan. It's kind of like a western vibe, right? I don't we want to be Dan. West. I feel like I'm Adam. You just named yourself Bob. 22 inches of pain. Oh my God, stop. No? Yes. I was thinking of making a porn Twitter. I got like the blunt. Let me get two hits. Man. I'm going I'm to I'm make a porn okay. Twitter so I can post all the, the nasty shit that I don't get to post right now. I have a porn question. Okay. You, mm -hmm. you got set up with all the, the MILFs in the beginning of your career because you're them. young. They want to do the young old thing. Love the old heads. Are the bangs making me look more or less MILFy? I'm trying to figure it out. Mm. No. No? Okay, because I got, I got a you couple look, you, you, MILF comments. Nah. You're not giving them. I ain't going to lie. You kind of all now that you're the saying outfit. it. The whole fit. If you you just specifically the bangs, I'm just looking at your face. Nah. But the whole fit, yeah. People need to understand that Lena and every like day it. is fighting against going full mom mode. It's like every day, every time she sucks another dick, it's just fighting against being an old lady. What? Because you're you you always talk about how you could just retire at any given moment. It's not that I could just retire. I'm actually torn about not working. It's just it's 
like I want to put a hundred percent into everything I do. So when I have to split things 50, 50, it, it doesn't feel as good, mm. but it doesn't mean I want to stop completely. But I, I, I don't mind the, the MILF category. I just don't like doing mm. the role play. Like mm. I feel weird about being called mommy. Like you can say I'm a hot MILF, but I, I, I get, just, I get what you know you're what I mean? saying because when I was, when I was 18, 19, nigga, I look like I'm 15. I'm fucking these 35, busty. I'm loving it. You feel and me? Are all the scripts making it like you're the son or some shit? Yeah. Stepson. And I didn't give a fuck because I'm loving it. You feel me? But when I started getting around like 20, 21, I'm like, it's getting a little creepy. You feel me? So it's like. Yeah. I mean, and, and I you know, really I don't want to judge anyone, but and... I, I personally am not turned on by it. So I don't want to yeah, like participate so, in it. Yeah, yeah. So I ain't really been, you know what I mean? Lately, it's just been like regular. Know what I mean, college student or some shit, yeah. professor, or whatever, some shit. When you're on your OnlyFans and men subscribe and they're trying to chat with you, what do you do? <laughs> because I imagine you do have a lot of gay dudes subscribing to you. Yeah, you feel me? I don't care. They do what they do. They paying. They supporting. I love all my fans. Would you say get... most of your fan base on your OnlyFans is, is men or is it women too? I definitely got some shorties in there. I met some fire joints. Which is ma majority guys? I'm just trying to. Nah, it's a majority guys. It's oh, always, really? Wow. For, for dudes, it's always going to be majority guys. They ain't no. But you're making heterosexual but content, the, which is interesting. But at the same time, don't get it twisted. I got the gay fans, but I got a lot of shorty yeah. fans, too. No, when we posted so you, you on the show, there was a lot of girls in the comments yeah. being like, oh, shit, they got little D. You I know me? you got a female fan base, but. you going to have them all. It's not like you're going to get one particular fan base. You feel me? Every yeah. Everyone going to support. But, okay, support. how much shit do you have to say no to as a performer who wants to stay on the heterosexual side of things? Because I think I remember Thugger telling me that they were trying to get him to put his booty up on the sink and take a selfie, and he wasn't f***ing with it. Bro, Thug does some other shit. Oh, really? Maybe he does he do the has, zesty moves? So. He has videos. He getting his booty ate with other dudes on some shit. Crazy Wait, they get shit. their asses eaten together? Yeah. yeah. What the f***? Oh, maybe that's my new thing. Adam likes getting his booty ate. With another dude? I mean, I'm always down for an eater. They both had their legs in the air. <laughs> All right, maybe not. Come on, man. I was like... Okay, but that's the best position if you want the girl to really go hard. It's hard to get under there. I don't want her to really But go with two hard. dudes sitting right next to each other with their legs in the that's air. That's hot. Me, me and you like this? No. <laughs> no. As the female viewer, seeing the girl go back and forth, that to me is sexy. Even though she might get a poop particle in her mouth? Hey, everybody do what they do, but that ain't me. But that, yeah, he do that shit, you feel me? So you would never DP a girl? Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to avoid that until the bitter end. But, uh, all right, here's my question for you. What was it like for the first time, maybe in your life, but definitely in the last seven years, to have two dudes nut on your face together? I was more turned on than I thought I was going to be. Really? Yeah. So I'm a very weird person with we fluids. We some fat It was nuts huge, on. Yo, yeah. my shit was I wild. Okay, he did this That's thing the biggest load I think I've ever blown on camera. Where he moved my it. face so that he didn't come on top of your cum. He could, like, get the part of my face. Yeah, I was doing the part he that, did. I was like, I'm not going. So he could completely cover it. And I was like, I would have never, never thought of that. But he, he like, held my face in such a way. To get it on the side that was missing cum because like it's like a, it's like a portrait. Everywhere. He's got to paint the whole canvas. And, and what's going through your head during that? You're feeling like, damn, like I'm a real you queen. You just got two nuts. I'm a jizz it. queen. I did feel pretty accomplished. She just made two dudes cum. Shorties love making a dude cum. One thing I noticed, bro. <laughs> shorties don't care if you could, if you only come in a minute. A lot of dudes like damn, I only came in a minute. But shorties like that. I the problem that is, you do it every time. The problem yeah. is when no, you. Fucked them five or six times and you're still coming in a minute. No, nah, I'm not saying that I do. I'm saying that to say because sometimes with some shorties, especially like ones that don't do porn, if I'm fucking them too long, they're like, damn, oh, I can't make him come or some shit. I think a lot of girls are, they start be like, are okay with like a 15 minute cap yeah. and guys think that we want more, but our pussies yeah. get sore. Like, nah, facts, facts. and you know, you can only stay lubricated as soon, for so long. As soon as Shorty you tell me she ready for me to come, I'm busting it. Yeah. You feel me? See, all right. There's a weird thing like in, in your private life, like <laughs> on camera, we all know that you should get at least 10 minutes. Probably like like if you just film in solo for OnlyFans, probably less than a half hour or like less than forty Ten minutes, minutes, right? Good. If y'all drunk, it's two a.m. Okay, but I'm talking on camera. Well, I guess you could still film a drunk at two a.m. But we gotta think about the a lot of people don't do porn. So yeah, we gotta yeah. Film. No, but I was talking about in your private life. 
if you bring a girl home from the bar, if you've been seeing each other, or whatever, if you last last like five minutes, I feel like you're still kind of at risk of her making fun of you on Twitter the next day. It all it only depends on if you made her come. If, if you she go came, forty she minutes. Care. A lot of girls are just gonna be like, uh, "All right, this is getting a little old." But I, some girls are be hyped on forty minutes. As long as Especially she came, if you're she drinking. As long as you made her came, she don't come. I feel like care. for the girl, it's always about how into it she is. Like yeah. if you, if there's if there's adequate foreplay, like guys, just, yeah. they just get hard. Girls need like I like playing. With, I like playing you know? with it first, so I'll try and make her come with my fingers and shit before you feel the me. For, the foreplay is very yeah, important. Yeah, by that time yeah. she ready, so I get in. She already, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm coming again. <laughs> okay. I'm coming to get it again. If again. you can make her come, <laughs> you make her come before you fuck, that's like a great she thing. She love you. She love you. Yeah, I because then you, you don't really have to worry as much while you're piping. Even still, I'm telling you, if you can make her come before you even put it in, she's going to love you. Mm. She's going to be like, damn, you did that with your hand. Every like, vagina is a riddle. They're yeah. All, they're all they, doing they different all come things, different. You, know? you feel yeah. me? And they all squirt different, too. Like, mm. I met one shorty, you feel me? She want me to pound her shit and then pull it out and then start rubbing the clip with my dick. And then she start going crazy. And then I met another one. You just got to keep rubbing her clip. And then she going, Psh. they all different, you feel me? The weirdest one, I had this girl that I used to chill with that had a pair of underwear that she had had since she was, like, 15. And every time she she put on the same pair of panties and she, and she would hold it I'm, I'm sure it got cleaned at some point but but she, she, she had would, it since she was 15 how old is she at this time this was back in the day so she might have been like 25 so she had had these years? things for a solid 10 I years i got no drugs but then 10 she years this is what she would do she would hold it and she'd and, be and using it every time on it like this this is how she would make herself by like stimulating her by taking the underwear and kind of like giving herself a frontal wedgie i mean i could i could see how the pressure would make your feel good but it seems like it would also get kind of painful if you do it over and over again and kind of kind of raw yeah the way you said it that shit sound like it hurt put your shit out i thought it was weird <laughs> you can't too. stop smoking so, yo she really feels comfortable They're like we at my store he's the winner of the contest and you're gonna tell him not to smoke weed <laughs> yes i need to leave now i can't wait till you leave so i can smoke weed smoke break, <laughs> smoke break. we're smoking the whole time <sighs> he keeps acting like he's gonna put it out and he's just ashing you it. got the fronto in there Fronto gang. Grava. Look at him. What's that? Hot grava. Just like a different type of leaf that he puts in there. Towns too. I brought that shit Maybe I should me. switch to the fronto instead of the tobacco. Hell I, yeah. I mean, it is tobacco. You gotta get the hot grava though. Mmm. Damn. Start importing it. That's not yeah. the worst idea. I'll bring you some from the towns. Mm. I got some with me. Interesting. Um, okay. What else do we need to discuss when it comes to this whole thing? How how has this been? From your perspective, like, the amount of attention that you got from winning the reality show and shit, what's that been like? Yeah, people been talking about it, they've been talking about it, but I ain't gonna lie, I've been having a lot of shit going on, so they've been talking about a lot of shit. Oh, yeah, I got my own show coming out, too. We gotta right. throw that out. Lil D's Playhouse, Miami coming out soon, you feel me? A lot of crazy shit. It's a reality show? Yup. I had okay. porn stores on there, regular shorties, shorties from the towns, Memphis, Atlanta. Feel me everywhere. All and are you in charge of the production? Like, do you? It have was to my production. I put the whole budget together. So you have to navigate with all the girls because that's like a lot of personalities yep. to deal with, and and you yep. have to do all that. Yep. Wow, that's, was, that's a big task. Yeah, but I did it with um. I had my two producers. I had China, my boy Muffin Man. They was helping <laughs> me out. He was on another show with me. Muffin so, Man. Yeah, he was on another show with me. That's crazy. I know he, a muscle man from he's Harlem. He's the dude. He's the dude that you know. The dude that um knocked out. Uh, he punched six nines, some shit like that. Oh, in, in the, the club video, and, yeah. uh, his name BH or something. But I call him Muffin Man because on the show they nicknamed him Muffin Man. So. Wow. Word, but yeah, <laughs> got my <laughs> games. So got my own show coming out soon. When's it coming out? It Probably out. January, February. You gonna see it on somewhere very special. Really. Stay tuned. You Fast. should knock down Krishan Rock. Krishan Rock? I think I could make her call. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder what she's actually like sexually. Because we all assume that she got, like, unbelievable she pussy because Blueface, like, was sticking around for so long. Well, if she get tested or she put I put a condom on, I ain't going to lie, nigga. I will trail her shit. Krishan. Yeah, she fake fire. Her Maybe and her sister. If she did porn, oh, my God. She got an OnlyFans? Yeah, Boy. the fact that she doesn't have one is Bro, crazy. Bro, she's going to do bad baby numbers. Me and yeah. her make a movie. <sighs> Little baby be watching my videos. So I How know. How do you know? Because you know Miss London. 
that's the the girl that he that yeah. he got exposed for, right? He did, he was watching all videos before he. Her. She told you. Yeah. Oh no, that's crazy. You think he but just she, relates to you? Like he sees you as kind of similar to him? I ain't gonna lie, I got some fire videos. I'll be some fire shorties. Shout out my boy, little baby gangster. Or that's crazy. You need to really like join one of these rap. My crews. videos fire. People be with them. Would you join? What is it? P four L. Four no four P L. Four pocket no four P F. I should know that off the top of my head. What was it? Regular label. Yeah, that's little baby's. He got right. label four PF. If he saw me four to four pockets a, full. He saw me to the label. Hell yeah, shit. He hit me up. I'm gonna send him some music. I got some shit. I'd be fire. You wanna cool. hear one of my songs? You gotta hear one. Of I my heard songs. your shit. Oh yeah. I checked out on YouTube and shit. You with him? Yeah, it was dope. But that's one thing that we haven't seen is like rap being willing to accept a rapper who Bro, also does I'm porn. A, I'm a rapper, porn star, reality TV show host and producer i'm like what's his name pimp c <laughs> he the one that was a basketball player he was a rapper no. <laughs> <laughs> you think master p yeah <laughs> <I'm also laughs> master p gigs like, too. wait does that sound right <laughs> yeah. pimp c. oh that's amazing uh, so you're saying that your your w on for the love of lena was really more a part of a rich tapestry of things that Lil D is capable yeah, of. Yeah, it was funny because I'm already doing a reality TV show. Yeah, which I wasn't aware of. Yeah. But I already knew you'd be a good contestant, and then that makes you an even better Fact. contestant. So I'm, I'm I'm doing a porno. I'm doing a reality TV show. Y'all making a porno reality TV show. Y'all want me to be on it. Who am I say no? <laughs> <laughs> Word. It was a lot of fun. I, I'm not gonna lie. If we, if we never do a, a reality show again, I'll be I'll be pretty sad because I had a lot nah, of fun. Nah, they they want season two. It was two. nice to break it up. You know, do something a little different than just a regular podcast. It's a lot more work. It's a lot more money, but it, it, it is a lot of fun. I feel like from a financial standpoint, it probably doesn't make sense for us to do it again. Also, just content wise, I'm not sure what we would do that would make it interesting. I do think that like. You know, for sure, we could find some girl that wants to, like, do her first gang thing or some shit, and we could, like, make a show out of that. Uh -huh. Or we could, you know, like, we could we could do some shit that's, like, I don't know. I was thinking about, like, what, what if you had a house of, like, ten girls, and they all want to become porn stars, and at the end, one of them gets a contract. I ain't going to lie. You trying to make a reality TV show? Like, one that we could put on Netflix or Zeus? I don't know if they're going to do whatever. anything porn-related, but Zeus, yeah. Zeus? One of those, come talk to me. We could. But Zeus doesn't really like seem like they have any interest in white people in any way. Now that's TV, too. Yeah, but they're all non-white content for the most part, too, right? You and me, know. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just you gets a card me. for that. Come on. I should start my own Zeus you network. You good in the hood. You what? pull up with me, nigga. Come the to white the town. Zeus network. We'll have a nigga, bunch of white trash Coast, trailer Coast. people beating the fuck out of each other. and say, My boy, you White come. trash baddies. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Million dollar idea. I'm telling you, bro. You do it with me, bro. It's gonna win. I promise you. What if we just do like a nationwide tour where you f like random disgusting women with no teeth in different what? states? Disgusting women. What the? F you just oh, find them at that. truck stops and shit, and just like we could go around and do a tour where I will run around and I f a bunch of shorties with a bush. With a, a bush? A bush? Yeah. That's just regular. Like that's not even that big a deal. Does everyone have a bush? A bush tour. <laughs> he just likes Bush. We so go to Bush to Gardens. Bush Gardens. <laughs> we could drink Bush beer. We could nah, listen to Bush. Like beer. That's Razor nasty. Blade Suitcase, dude. Nah, this thing is crazy. Boy. Shout out Gavin Rosdale. <laughs> or maybe a Milfie tour. I want to do a Milfie tour. Mm. I'll be fine. Didn't Tiana Trump do a college tour? I think I think she just went to a bunch of colleges, but... But that's dope that she made a shirt of it and, like, made it a thing. Like, even Tiana, if she didn't really do it like that, it's still, like, good Tiana marketing. playing, man. I'm trying to get up in that, man. Yeah? Man. You haven't been able to seal the deal on that one, huh? Nah, we know each other. We cool, but... She was with me when you met me at Exotica. Yeah, yeah I was with her. She bowed out the game too early, man. We need more scenes from her. Yeah, man. Maybe we make a little comeback scene. I'll She's like fine. Rihanna. She realized that she didn't need to put out, Rihanna realized she didn't need to put out another album and she could still be Rihanna for like all these years. I need that. She's gonna put another album out, but like Tiana Trump realized like, oh, I'm gonna make all this money on OnlyFans and I'm still gonna have this level of notoriety and I don't need to put out new scenes. So she ain't put out a new scene in like forever. She's still just retweeting porn videos from three years ago. 
That's heavy. Man, I will. <sighs> That's your dream scene? Above every other girl, Tiana? Yeah. Well, you was the other one. Oh, thank Ooh, you. You're so sweet. A man of taste. <laughs> Love said. A man oh, of taste. Now, if, okay, yeah. If there's any. Why you don't get on the plug talk? Tell her to pull up. That's what I'm saying. But if there's any girls that I would like to f before I leave the industry, for sure she would be a nice one to have on the list. You f Bali yet? Yeah, a bunch of times, so. You busting inside her? What? Busting? No, I said a bunch of times. Oh. <laughs> I'll bust inside her. You come inside her, Bali? Nah, I'm too scared. I, I feel mean, like we have a she Mexican. No, no cream pie rule. What's wrong with that? I'm saying, though, they pump out babies like nothing. Oh, so. yeah, that's so racist. No, it's not. Um, they all know it. No, no cream pies. Nah, no that's too risky. Pie. Even me fucking all these girls with no rubber and shit on camera, it was kind of crazy from a lot of people's perspective. Like, because people would be like, oh, like, that girl could trap you. I'm like, you girl don't want to trap me. She wants to keep trapping porn money for all these years she don't you want let him cream pie no other shorties i don't even get to cream by her nah once in a blue but you don't just take a plan b fuck no that's a good idea right there boom what? why you don't good get idea. on birth control i don't want to do that shit she's probably scared she's gonna gain like three pounds you miss cream pies right the um, best. That was the best thing about her I'm being pregnant. The only time I've you missed... can do cream pies is when I'm super bloody, so it's not really helpful. Oh, right. man. From that, on camera? I call those rituals. <laughs> no, nah, that's strawberry shortcake oozing out of there. No, nah, those rituals. I ain't gonna lie. Rituals. You start, you start having them. Yeah. So if your bitch is on a period, you still going for it? I've done it. We usually take a break around the period of time, though. That's sacred sex. No, we have. We what are you talking about? We had like big shoots books, like my last six periods. Oh, yeah, on the yeah, first yeah. day, I'll be like running away from it because <laughs> it hurts so. Bad. But that's work. That's work. And why does it hurt to have sex in your period? You can't be we fucking every. You can't be fucking everybody on your period. But one of your main shorties, like. Yeah. Why you think the blood's dirty? No, you because you can't trust everybody. But if it's your main shorty, that's your your yeah. shorty. If I fucked a random scallywag and her pussy was smelling like a fucking iron deposit, ugh, I'm gonna puke. Make her I clean actually it like out. having sex on my period, just not when I'm like in pain, having cramps on like day one. Because I'll be sticking it in her when she's bleeding, and like she's, uh -huh. she don't like it. What about That's not true. what about when when uh she was pregnant? Y'all was fucking a lot when y'all was pregnant. That was the best. Yeah, yeah. I always liked it, me pregnant. You were looking good, pregnant. <laughs> you I can't wait for round two. Oh, or y'all gonna have another one? Not yet. Shoot the club up, put another one in there. Y'all got a girl or a boy right now. You know, I have, a, I have a girl, but it's so funny because we, we were, we were kind of both like on the same I page. I have a girl. I'm apparently, I'm not really a factor <laughs> in this. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, now God. you know how she really feels. I just want to, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, <laughs> right before I worked with Jason, we were like definitely on the same page. Like, no, no more babies for a while. We're going to just, you know, keep running this porn thing. And then like right after I shot with Jason, he was like, you think you want to get pregnant? <laughs> he, oh. was trying to, he was trying to trap me again. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking about it. I still like to bring it up even if we're not going to do it like All the next sudden, year. you had to change your heart. Y'all going to have another one on the way soon? Mm, listen. At some point. At some point, I just. She wants to do it just to prove to Joe Budden we have a real relationship. What? We Joe were... Budden's the dude, the dude of the podcast. The president. Right? <laughs> Shut up! Don't do that to him. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's an old head podcaster <laughs> yeah. dude. He used to be a rapper. He 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 said that he doesn't think that our relationship is real based on your time spent on set with us and being so intimate as to even have had sex with her with me. Do you think our relationship is real? I think y'all got a real relationship. I think people just don't understand it, but it's not for them to understand it. It's not their relationship. You see a lot of people fucking getting cheated on, don't know what the fuck going on, doing the same shit, going right back to the day person, but no one tells them nothing. Yeah, we got good communication. Mm -hmm. All y'all doing is just communicating. And people get so mad when I say that I'm loyal. Because they just can't imagine that this is loyalty. But I've never done anything like without his permission. Or I definitely see y'all as each other's partner. Yeah. You feel me? Like y'all get each other. Y'all for each other. There's a lot of transparency and trust and love yeah. in a relationship, which is all the things that constitute a real relationship. With that being said, oh, yeah, the flies I almost on got you, it. I, I almost got it. Got uh, it. I saw it on you. <laughs> that should keep fucking flying. Yo, every time I get the fly on camera, it is like the. It feels like I won the Super Bowl. It's like uh, the best feeling ever. Uh, Damn, I wish I could go f you in the bathroom right now, but yeah, nah. But with that being said, you know what I mean. That's for y'all to understand. Round two. That. 
Maybe Sydney Star can come by. Round two. Sydney we could Star. do it right now. I'm testing. <laughs> Me too. Prove it. Uh, <laughs> I got it. I'll pull it up. <laughs> I'm Boy. like, I'm sure you are. Hey, oh, if you want to see us hook up again, head on over to onlyplugtalk.com. You might find a surprise. I mean, probably not, but it's a good idea. All right, there, there's our check-in. People wanted to see us on camera. Hey, if people want to see the early days of Lil D, the full life story, they should check out his interview on Plug Talk because we discussed Facts. all that stuff. Facts. Plug Talk, go check everything out. Now I mean, Bay Lil D, YouTube, music out. Go check that. Lil D's Playhouse coming soon, you feel me? All my people, shout out to y'all. Y'all know who you are. I love y'all niggas. I love everybody. Gang. If you f***ing with me, I'm f***ing with y'all. Lena, any, any last words? Thank you for letting me have sex with that man. Anything for my bride. <laughs> no jumper. Go. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support. What were you saying? Now y'all got to give each other a nice kiss. Oh, of course. Nice kiss. It's been a few weeks since she sucked your dick, so it should be all right. Uh, wait, some oh. tongue. That shit was what? Get some got lipstick on. I ain't trying to tongue her up. Y'all gotta get some tongue. Yeah. No tongue. <laughs>